Hello everyone and welcome po dito sa C Network Lifestyle Workshops. I'm your host and your school director. My name is Ricky. Today po is the last class of our baking course here for cake decorating uh, right here at uh, C Network. And uh, today they are going to do or they have done one of the most difficult techniques that they could ever do in cake decorating. And this is called fondant. I'm sure you know that because this is one of the most expensive cakes after you finish it because we work a lot on three-dimensional characters being put on top of the cake and this is what it is. So today I'm going to show you the four cakes decorated by four of our students who have never ever thought that they could do such thing and most of them have never even baked in their life. But I want you to see this right now because these are some of the most important uh, decorations that we've done. For you, maybe it's very simple, but I'm telling you, the techniques is not that easy. Okay, here goes. So, this is a fondant cake with a combination of uh, three, three different colors. I think that's purple, light purple, there's pink, there's white, there's yellow, and there's a uh, sugar art. Uh, how do you call it, Chef? Sugar sailing. Ang naglalayag na asukal. <laughs> it's sugar sailing and it has fresh fruits on it. It's done by one of our chefs. Oh, you know, believe it or not, she has never ever baked in her life. And for someone to do this, oh look at those flowers right in front. Amazing, isn't it? All right, there's got you got like four. Oh yeah, but yeah. palang All right, here we go. Turn it around. There you go. There's like different different colors. Amazing, and those are flowers actually. I can do. And it's called sugar sailing. Let me tell you again, it's sugar sailing. And we got fresh flowers on top. It's made by Chef Gina. All right, and she works with uh, a recruitment agency. There you go. I hope you like that. Here's another one, one of my favorites, because I love dogs. <laughs> the cake decorator of this cake today is celebrating her birthday on the 16th of the month, and uh, we're getting free lunch today. <laughs> There you go. It's 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 a dog. It, it's crowned. You know, there's a crown on top. You've got a bone. You got a ball, and there is a, this duck foot on the side. Actually, actually combining the colors and toning the colors is one of the most difficult thing you can do with fondant. You know, so you gotta learn the technique to do that. Balancing the colors is what you need. All right. There you go. This is made by Chef Marie Bang, and she is actually one of the uh, the students we have here. Yeah. Here is another one, you know, birthday ng kanyang father. Okay, ayan si Chef Deden, ayan ang kanyang cake. Happy birthday, Papa. Oh, di ba? Papang pala, not Papa. It's, uh, I think she asked the father what he wanted uh, for a decoration on this cake. And this is what came out today. It's a shirt from a father I loved to wear before. Very nostalgic with amazing color light blue colors that's what you have it, beautiful isn't it right here we go and this is done by one of our students her name is chef fatima there you go it's a very very ladylike cake i love the flow of the um the bow and the ribbon look how it flows it looks almost so flimsy uh, very wavy very simple design you've got red dots that go with it hi Seth saliara thank you for watching there you go. Here we go. Right, I love those white ones there. Right, they look like small pearls. Perfect and ideal cake for a, a, a lady celebrating her 18th birthday or probably a girl who's celebrating her birthday. This is a two-tier cake, as you can see. There is a base and there is a top cake. Two different sizes of cakes are being used on this one. And um, I'm telling you, two-tier cakes are always one of the most expensive cakes because you got to do a couple of layers, two different... Uh, uh, hey, Chef Mi Ruanes from the Philippine Embassy. Hi, Chef. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you back in the classes. Yeah, not only your husband. <laughs> you got to come back for the classes. There you go. Here we go. These are the four cakes that we have done for the fondant. So again, let me go around. This is done by Chef Fatima. And this is done by Chef Deden. And this is done by Chef Marie Bang. And last but not the least, of course, with the sugar... Uh, how do you call it again? Sugar, sugar, sailing. sugar sailing. Woo! There you go. Sugar sailing by Chef. Yes. She is actually going to stop doing recruitment 
She is going to open the biggest bakery in the Philippines. <laughs> there you go. All right, I'll be going around in a while, for a while, and I just wanted to talk to the experience that they have had in the here. All right, here we go. Okay, Chef, come here, please. Chef, Chef Gina, can you hold the mic? Oh. All right, I'll talk to you right now. This is Chef Gina. Yes. Why did you choose to do a sugar sailing on top and to do a marble like cake? Yeah, that's uh, my first experience to do this. And how is it? Yeah. Um, Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, the first time I attempt to do it by myself, uh -huh. it melted right. <laughs> <laughs> and what, 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 what so I asked Chef Ayan how to do it properly. And, and then it. he taught me today. All right, so yeah. very successful, right? Yeah. Are you going to sell that cake? Are you going to eat it or are you going to give it away? No, yeah, I'm going to. Uh, Give it to a friend whose uh, son is birthday on on December 10. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Congratulations. Nice yeah. Congratulations. Nice okay. So after doing recruitment, you're going to open a bakery in the Philippines? Hopefully. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chef. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that's Chef Gina. All right, here we go. Hi, Chef Deden, please. Just Hi. Hi. And how are you? Fine, good. So uh, what about the cake? Uh, actually, this cake is for my dad's birthday. Today? Yeah, uh, no, on Saturday. on Saturday. He's turning 69. Oh, so, okay. since he loves uh, polo shirt, every time I went home, this is... Uh, so, he loves wearing shirt? Yeah. Oh. This, this is what I will bring for him. I see. So, that's... So I did you choose this one or you chose the design yourself? No, I chose the design and I thought it will fit him. <laughs> So now, say happy birthday to your dad. Come on, celebrate. Yeah, birthday. happy birthday, Papa. Happy 69th birthday. Wow. Love you. I love you. Yeah. I miss you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there you go. Now let's go, uh, Chef. The birthday celebrant on the 16th. Hello, Chef. How are you? I'm good, Chef. Uh, right, please. I'm good. So, uh, why the dog? <laughs> yeah, because it's part by, uh, of course, I have three dogs at home. They yes. are very sweet and lovely. That's why I inspired uh, to make uh, fondant dog today. I see. Yeah. All right. Is this, is this your dog? What kind of dogs do you have in the house? Uh, I have uh, two Yorkshire and wow. one uh, Shih Tzu. Wow. Yes. Wow. That's, why, that's why they inspired you know, me Chef, today. Also have, we also have two Yorkshire. Uh -huh. And one yes. uh, taken from the rubbish can in the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, there you I'm... go. All right, uh, so, thank you yeah, so much. Welcome. Uh, by the way, is this is the first time you make a fondant? Yes, yes, yes. Amazing. It's an important experience. A lot of work, yeah. yeah, a lot of work and a lot of patience also. <laughs> yes, it's and you have to. When you sell it. Yes, right. You have to be creative. Uh, yeah, you have to be creative as well, yes. Okay. yes. Thank you so much. Welcome, Chef. Chef. Now let's talk to the master chef himself. Chef Ayu, please. Yeah. Just a few yeah. words. The master of 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 the master and you should always uh, remember how to combine colors because combining colors is very important and you should always know the technique especially when you're doing your decoration you should not do over decorating because it's simple is better so with the two tier cake normally how much is the selling price it depends on the size it usually range like uh, 25 to 30 kg I see. Yeah. but it depends if your decoration is Everything is edible. If some is not edible, it will be more lesser. I see. So if it's more edible, it's more expensive. More expensive. Yeah. So please invite everyone to regarding the classes. Okay. So uh, we have an advanced classes. So we will teach you from making cakes, cake decoration, and then glazing, and also the last is your fondant. So you you can enroll in CEE Culinary Arts. Except your incoming class is coming Friday. Bread and pastry. Yeah, so come and join us for our bread and pastries class. It is coming Friday, so we still have few slots remaining. So I think how many? Two slots remaining. So hurry up! Wow. Thank you, chef. 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 There you go. See you on Friday. Thank you. I like yes.
<laughs> yeah, I'm in YouTube. Oh my God. Anyway. So anyway, those are the students that we have. Unfortunately, I can interview one of our chefs. <laughs> it's very personal. But anyway, congratulations to all the chefs today, and I hope you like it. And by the way, we just wanted to say again, on the, six, on the 16th of this month, we're starting the, the course called Breads and Pastries. Of course, again, with Chef Isle. That will be from 9 to 12. It's a full house class. So far, we have eight, but we wanted to complete 10 students in the classes. We also have the Art of Cake Decorating and Baking that will be on a Saturday. Um, with uh, again with uh, Chef Chris Ricafort in the morning and then in the afternoon is going to be Chef um, uh, Mojaco, Chef Dick. Hello, Mr. Darwin Leocadio, the owner of Queen in Asal. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, sir. All right, we hope I'll be there in your restaurant on Monday to do a live cooking class. Yes. I'll see you there. All right. So anyway, those are the two classes. We also have classes on the art of chocolate making. We also have a class on, of course, um, uh, the art of chocolate making. And of course, uh, we also have the uh, Japanese cuisine. And we have introduced so far now the local delicacies that we have. So keep following us on our social media account. This has been your host. My name is Ricky. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day and keep safe. Bye. Bye.